Michigan won the national championship, but they are losing a lot of talent to the NFL draft. Schefter reported that there are going to be 18 players at the NFL draft combine from the Michigan Wolverines, and Michigan's even losing their head coach. Their defense has been absolutely incredible over the last few years. The edge rushers, the interior defensive linemen, the secondary, everything has been so well built for the Wolverines, but they also had a pretty good linebacking core, especially in 2023. Junior Colson is a guy who a lot of people have as their top linebacker in the class. In today's video, we will be discussing the pros and the cons of Colson's game, and I will be letting you guys know where I ultimately think he is selected in the 2024 NFL Draft. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys would like to see me talk about in a future video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Colson has been very productive over the last couple of seasons for the Wolverines. In 2022, Colson finished with 101 total tackles, 2 sacks, and 1 pass deflection. He had a pretty solid year. He was a name that a lot of people really liked entering 2023. In the 2023 season, Colson finished the year with 95 total tackles and 2 pass deflections. As mentioned in the intro, he is a lot of people's top linebacker in the class and he has some very interesting upside at the position. Colson has some excellent size at the position. He is 6 foot 3, 247 pounds and I absolutely love how big he is at the linebacker position. He has long arms, exceptional length, he's tall, and is a great asset to have in the middle of that defense. Colson, in my opinion, might be the best coverage linebacker in the entire draft class. He has the speed to match up with tight ends and running backs down the field in Tampa 2 or man coverage schemes, and you love to see that from your linebackers. But he's also excellent in zone coverage. He reads the quarterback's eyes extremely well, he doesn't bite, and he is super solid overall in coverage, and in my opinion, it's the most impressive part of his game. Colson is also a very fluid mover. It looks very natural. No movements are wasted, and he has very fluid hips, and he moves exceptionally well for his size. We mentioned the speed to match up with tight ends and receivers down the field, but he's also a powerful player. He is a hard hitter in the middle of the field, and he plays a really impressive game overall. There's a lot to love about Colson, but there are a couple of areas of concern. One of them is his health. Colson has struggled with multiple injuries during his tenure at Michigan, and while none of them are major injuries, I think teams are really going to be paying attention to his medicals at both the Combine and his Pro Day. My biggest area of concern with Junior Colson is his run defending and his blitzing. For whatever reason, his speed when trying to crash the run is extremely lackluster. He has the speed in the middle of the field, he has the speed to match up with tight ends, but against the run, he really struggled to crash against the run. On top of that, his block shedding could definitely improve. When he made contact with an offensive lineman, the play was virtually over because he seemed to really struggle to disengage. Whether it was in run defending or as a blitzer, I would like to see his block shedding improve, and I would like to see his speed improve when crashing against the run. If he can improve those things, he very well could be the top linebacker in this draft, but there are still those concerns that we have to talk about. This is a solid linebacker class at the top. It isn't the deepest position in this class, but I like some of these guys, and they're getting better as the draft process goes along. Junior Colson is right up there at the top. Athletically, he's fantastic. In coverage, he offers a lot, and he has a lot of areas that are really, really solid. He is my number three linebacker in the class. I would like to see him improve as a run defender, improve as a blitzer, and then obviously the health concerns are there, but he is my number 68 overall player in the draft. I think Colson's coverage ability makes him an extremely versatile player at the linebacker position. I think you could put him in virtually every linebacker spot and he could thrive. He could thrive in that middle linebacker in a 3-4 or a 4-3. He could play an outside linebacker in a 4-3. I think he's a very versatile linebacker prospect 
and he's going to thrive anywhere. But I think as a middle linebacker is where he is going to be at, at his best, simply due to his coverage abilities. My comparison for Junior Colson is Miami Dolphins linebacker Jerome Baker. I know, I'm sorry Michigan fans, I compared him to a Buckeye, but Baker is a very rangy linebacker who is good in coverage, but when he was coming out of Ohio State, had a lot of similar concerns to how he was going to shed blocks. Now I do believe Baker is a better pass rusher, any better blitzer at the linebacker position, but I think that Colson has some similar upside athletically, and if he can learn to shed blocks, could end up developing into a pass rushing linebacker. In coverage, I think they're very similar, so Jerome Baker is going to be my comparison. Junior Colson is excellent in coverage. He is a fluid mover who has good instincts and a knack for making plays on the football. I think he is going to be a very interesting prospect entering the class, and ultimately, I believe that Junior Colson will be a third-round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.